I'm Cody Calloway. I'm originally from Kansas City. I'm in the military. Um, so I'm in Mississippi now. Basically, I've been following events for a while. I'm with uh, Hypertrophy Max now. I really just couldn't pass up the opportunity to come down here. Welcome guys, this is our next workout at Muscle Camp here in Austin, Texas at the Six Pack Shortcuts headquarters. Today we're going to be giving you guys a killer workout on how to build bigger arms. And we're going to teach you guys some simple concepts that are really going to help you get more out of less. And one of the simplest things I learned was that you have to acknowledge that the elbow is a hinge joint. Imagine your hinge joint on the elbow like your car door. So if this is the car door and you were to swing the car door like this, how it was designed, how the hinge was designed, would you cause any damage to the, to the hinge? All right, now what if I leaned on the top of the car door and then I started swinging it in and out? What's gonna happen to that hinge? Putting a lot of pressure on the hinge besides letting it move in a normal plane of motion. That's exactly what you're doing when you start doing this crap, like this, and you start going like this. Well, what about the big guy? The big guy in the gym, he does that. That guy's got great genetics, and he's smashing up his joints. Just because he's doing it doesn't mean it's right. So we're teaching you guys longevity tips on how to build your arms without smashing up your joints. All right, pay attention. Let's get to it. Right. For everybody at home who's watching, I want you guys to stand up right now, get out of your computer seat, stand at your side, drop your hands at your side. Before you even start the curl, I want you to contract your biceps. Look at my arms, see they're soft, there's no, there's no contraction there. I want you to contract as hard as you can, and then I want you to curl. And I want you to think forwards, and when you get up here, we don't stop here. We continue, we continue, we continue. You see this? little imaginary line here, pretend this is like a line, you're gonna crush it. Just make it disappear. That's when you stop, when that little line disappears from your forearm covering your bicep. That's the end point, all right? Okay, let's go. All right, let's do it. You have no business counting reps. All you're focusing on is squeezing. There you go. I've always felt that I was being such a much, so much of a runner, I was kind of imbalanced body from top to bottom. My legs were always big and strong, and my upper body was always kind of small. So my initial focus is to kind of get my body balanced top to bottom, it's to build up my upper body to match the size of my lower body, so at least I look more proportional. You need to extend your lower arm. Now contract. There you go. You're leaning back, keep those hips behind you. Extend, extend, extend. Now flex. There we go. Extend, extend, extend. Squeeze them like your life depends on it. Come on, that's better. I want you to make them pop. Squeeze them, come on. That's better. You don't need a lot of weight to build arms. Squeeze hard. Keep your hips back, don't lean backwards, lean forwards. Lean forwards, now flex harder. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Don't even move the bar until you're squeezing. Squeeze. Thank you. That's better. You got to finish those. You're missing a couple inches. Come on. You're not done. You're not done. Keep curling. Keep curling. Keep curling. Keep curling. You're not done. Keep curling. That's better. You shorten that muscle. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep shortening. Keep shortening. Come on. You're not done yet. Shorten it. That's better. Stay on your flat feet. Don't go to your toes. Keep your feet flat. Good. Keep those arms straight. Around the corner, all the way back down. Flex hard. Squeeze your biceps, come on. You're done. Woo! You don't need much work on biceps if you train them properly. Dude, you're trying to make it easy. I want you to make it hard. If you want to build muscle, you need to learn how to make it hard from the first rep. Don't pace yourself. I don't care if you do two reps. This isn't a marathon, man. We're sprinting. We're going for quality here. We're going for quality, 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 quality. Thank you. That's better. I think you guys are done. Good job. That's good. He's got one. He's got one. <laughs> I love it. Buddy curls, man. Brings the edge out. He goes, he's got one more. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, now it's getting heavy because I'm doing work. <laughs> Good. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Boom. How are these boys doing? These guys' veins. Flex. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Right there, look at that vein. That's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so we're going to finish off with three sets of 12 with uh, a technique is, that requires isometric contractions. So we're going to be doing three normal curls while you're doing this with the other side, and we switch sides, and then you're going to do three hammer curls, switch sides, then you're going to do three normal curls, switch sides, and then go back to three hammer curls. You'll see how they're doing it. The arm that's stabilizing is going to be absolutely pumped up. You're going to have to wear a larger shirt when you go out tonight. All right, let's do this. Who's, got, who's using those? So, who's using uh, 25s? <laughs> Crickets. Crickets. It ain't so, so much to hang the weight, there's nothing else. Uh, <laughs> That's why I've never seen so many people being scared of a set of 25s. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fellas, so we're going to put an inch on our arms within the next uh, freaking couple minutes. So, we're going to do this together, group style class with bodybuilding intensity. So, we're going to start with palms up. Bring your left arm up to 90 degrees. If you're at home, I want you to join us. We're gonna do three normal curls, three normal bicep curls. Two, contract hard. Three, all the way down, so bring it back up for a half a rep, and then do the left arm. One, let's go. Two, three, all the way down, come back up halfway. Now we're going to a neutral grip. Back to the first arm, one, hammers. Two, three, all the way down, come back up, hold it. Left arm, one, two, squeeze hard, three, bring it back up, hold it, one, squeeze hard, two, don't rely on the weight to do the work, squeeze your muscles, come up halfway, left arm, one, two, 90 degrees, that's where it's the hardest, three, back up, right arm, hammer curls, one, Two, three, back up halfway, left arm, last three, one, squeeze hard, two, don't move your trunk, three, ah, that's 12, rest 60 seconds, two more rounds. So guys, the cues here, nice and tall, think about leaning forward, shoulders are neutral, elbows are slightly in front of your trunk, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, don't forget to squeeze. Another little thing, a lot of guys cheat by turning their wrists in and they let the wrist flexors get a lot of work. I want you guys to keep your wrists extended, which keeps the dumbbell further away from the axis, which makes it harder on the biceps. Just because it's hard doesn't mean we don't get involved with it. So you still want you to contract your biceps before you start. Are you cheating? One, two, oh, hammer curls. Three, switch arms. Two, ah, three, ah, up. Hammer curls, let's go. One, one, two, ah, three, ah, huh, three, that's it boys. Yeah. You should be afraid to flex because it hurts so much right now. You should be afraid to flex because you're afraid your arm's gonna explode. That's how it should feel right now. Mentally, it's very, it's, it's all a mental game. So just it all comes down to how badly you guys want bigger arms. If you want arms, if the mind's willing, the body will follow. Let's go. Here we go. One. You see on the YouTube videos, and you get all these good pointers and whatnot, it really takes somebody looking at you to kind of point out what you can improve on. Sometimes you just don't do it right, even though you're watching yourself in the mirror. Palms up with the left arm. One. Two. Hammers with the left one. One, ah, two, got this, three. Ah. That's it, boys. Ah. Ah. Man, you know what? Just off that, that two sets, man. <laughs> I'm like three, up. Uh, three sets, no kidding. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm, I'm jacked up too, I know, right? Yeah. I don't even have a lot of carbs in me right now, so I'm feeling like that's a good sign that you really isolated the muscle. What did you guys learn today? Big. What? The carry angle. Respect the carry angle. Good. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top or all the way through? All the way through. Thank you. <laughs> Lock out at the bottom. Yeah. Make sure you really get that. Get that full range of motion. Yeah. Full length of the bottom, beautiful. Except the fact that you need only light weights to do everything properly and it's enough, it really works. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, yeah. Yeah, just check your ego at the door and drop the weights so you get the form and the squeeze right. Yeah. It'll hurt no matter how much weight you're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, heavy weight correct. will get bigger muscles, but not if you're not doing it right. Yeah. And all he's going to do is injure again. Yeah. 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 So you guys think this was a good investment of your time? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. What I want to talk about is how to do it properly. Because everybody's seen awesome. these exercises. These yep. aren't new. They've been around forever. But what's going to be new is how to do them. How to shorten the muscle. How to contract it. How to take it through its natural arc. Through a full range of motion. A couple things you want to do with your tricep skull crushers.